Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Apache Tomcat server on your Windows operating system and configure it with Eclipse IDE. So let's get started. First of all, you need to have two things. First is the Eclipse IDE itself for developing Java EE uh, programs and second thing you need to have is java runtime environment so these two things you must have installed uh, if you don't uh, have these two things you may have to uh, install them first and then you can uh, install tomcat so for installing tomcat you just need to search for apache tomcat and the first link up here here is tomcat.apache.org so just click this link and in here there are different versions of uh, Apache so if you don't have uh, this uh, Eclipse you can download Eclipse ID you just search for Eclipse download and uh, the first link will be eclipse.org slash downloads and you must have this installed in your uh, Windows operating system which is Eclipse IDE for Java EE environment right with JDK okay so these are the two prerequisites so now if you have both the things installed you just need to uh, uh, choose the version of Tomcat which you want to install I will choose the latest version for now and when you scroll down you will be able to see this uh, core in core section the last option which is uh, Windows service installer we are going to download executable file which we can install and I'm going to save this file it's not a big file I think so it will be downloaded really fast it's just 9.7 MB at the time of making this video so once um, this uh, download is complete you can run this executable file and then click yes and then this ne net, uh, Apache Tomcat setup will start click next and if you agree with the terms license and condition click I agree and in here uh, you will see some option I will choose all the checkboxes or I will check all the checkboxes and I will click next and this is important because sometimes when you install uh, Tomcat and if you have uh, already installed uh, some other uh, server like Glassfish or some other server and this may you know occupy this port 8080 so make sure that your port 8080 is free to use and otherwise uh, you can change this port uh, and uh, if you're sure that uh, this port is free port 8085 I will change this HTTP connector port to a uh, port 8085 because I know that uh, this port is free in my case uh, and if you are sure that port 8080 is free for HTTP connector port then you can go with this port otherwise you can change it to some other port something like port 8081 or 8082 or 8085 or something like this okay so make sure that this port is free to use okay and uh, if necessary just change this port click next next and in here uh, it will ask please select the path of uh, java se7 or jre installer so I will just choose uh, the JRE folder which I have installed so when you have installed uh, this Java JDK and JRE on your system you may have uh, in your C folder in this C folder go to program files and there will be a folder called Java and in here there will be a folder called JRE okay so this path you need to give to your uh, installer here so I will go to the same path which is uh, my PC 
in my PC C folder, program files, and Java and JRE. Okay, click OK and click next. So that's why JDK uh, uh, and JRE is important, right? So you must have Java installed on your system. So just give this path of JRE and click next and click install. Now installation of uh, Tomcat server will start and it will be completed in few seconds. So now the uh, server installation is complete. I will uncheck both the options and click finish. Now I will start my Eclipse IDE for uh, developing Java EE projects and this will start Eclipse IDE and once this IDE will open I'm going to uh, configure this Tomcat server. So now my Eclipse IDE will open. Once your IDE is open you uh, need to go to this Windows tab here. So uh, in here there will be a section called preferences. Open this preferences and in here there will be a so section called the server. So if you have uh, Java EE, you have, if you have downloaded this version of Eclipse which I was uh, talking about then only you will be able to see this uh, server section. Otherwise you may not see this section so make sure that you have uh, install Eclipse IDE for Java EE. Okay, so in the server section, go to a runtime environments, and in here we are going to add Tomcat. So just click add, and in here just click uh, Tomcat 8 because we have installed the latest version of Tomcat, which is Tomcat 8, right? So choose Tomcat 8, click next. And in here, you need to browse for the location where Tomcat is installed. So just browse and go to your PC once again. And in program files, in C folder, in pro program files, there will be a folder called Apache Software Foundation. And in this Apache Software Foundation, you will be able to find this Tomcat 8. Okay, so just select this Tomcat 8 folder and click OK and then click finish and click OK. So now uh, our Tomcat 8 is configured and now uh, we need to start this server, right? So now what we need to do is we need to open this server perspective in here. Okay, so we will go to Windows. And in here we will uh, go to this show view section and in here if you uh, don't see server go to other and in here search for server okay and just double click the servers and it will open a new perspective perspective called server now right click here and click new and click server and this will open, uh, uh, you know, options to choose the version of server. We have uh, configured Tomcat 8. So we will choose Tomcat 8. Click next. And in here, right now, we don't have anything to configure. So just click finish. This will add this Tomcat um, server at local host. Okay, so just select the server and just click this uh, green button here okay so select the server and click this green button which start the server once you uh, click this button you will be able to uh, see this kind of uh, messages you just need to allow them all and in some moments the server will start so it says that several ports, uh, port 8005, 8085, 8009 required by Tomcat 
uh, is already uh, in use right so what you do in that case if they these ports are already in use uh, i have told you uh, that this may be the condition that uh, other servers are running and they are already being used okay so i will just click okay for now and so to change the port if these ports are already configured you can change it by going to your c directory and in C directory go to this program files and in here go to Apache software center where your Tomcat 8 will be installed so go inside this uh, Tomcat folder and there will be a file called or folder called conf and in conf there will be a server.xml file which is this one just open this uh, server.xml file and in here all your ports are configured for example, the server port is 8005. For shutdown, you can change it. For example, uh, if this port is occupied, I will change it to 8015, right? And in the same way, you can search for the other ports. For example, this port 8085 is okay for us, but uh, the port uh, 8009 now we are going to change uh, so we will just search for 8009 and you can see this option connector port 8009 we will change it to 8019 and uh, just uh, start it once again so start it and server is started and synchronized now so you can open this uh, your favorite web browser and just uh, type localhost localhost colon 8085 in my case because this was the port I have configured right so open and then, then just press enter and it will open Apache Tomcat 8.0.17 here right now uh, this same uh, URL you can even open on your uh, Eclipse IDE you just need to open uh, the web services here and you can open uh, this uh, inside your uh, Eclipse IDE also okay now you can open these uh, ports which I have told you in this server.xml file the same con uh, your project also so there will be a folder called server here and in here you will be having this server.xml you will open this uh, server.xml and in here you can just change this port okay and you can just save this file and you can you know rerun this uh, server once again so restart and now your server is started and once again it's started and synchronized okay so you can uh, rerun or refresh your page and once again it will run properly so in this way you can uh, configure tomcat server on your eclipse ide i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait